right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to go over my wife's bug out bag that I built for her. If you wanna see my bug out bag, I have a video on that on my channel. You feel free to go over and check that out. So today we're gonna to look at the bug out bag I have for her. And before we get into it, I'm gonna lay down the groundwork on kind of the thought process. My wife does not do a whole lot of backpacking and hiking like I do. So I needed something super light that she could be comfortable with. And the other thing too is I wanted the bag that would be easy for her to navigate because let's be honest, our wives are not going to spend as much time <laughs> playing with gear as we do. So this may be a bag she touches once or twice a year. Besides that, it's going to sit in a closet. I try to get her out and use it and get involved in it. But a lot of women just are not into this, but they are open to it. Like my wife, she's open to the idea. She understands the importance of it. She knows just enough about her bag to function and do it. And that's about as far as she's interested in it. And I'm not going to force the issue. The other thing too is... Her bag is going to be super light because mine is very heavy with gear. I go backpacking almost every week between hiking and going overnight backpacking every month or something like that. So I'm used to carrying packs for winter gear and hunting and stuff like that. Packs can be 50, 60, 70 pounds. My bug out bag is in around, depending on the time of the year, between 35 and 40. Hers is going to be 20 pounds and under. So first off about the pack, hers is a Everly stock kite i don't know if they make this one anymore but let's dive into it i'm going to talk to you why i chose this bag all right guys so we're going to dive into it this is the everly stock kite like i said before and on the outside of this pack i do have a add-on pouch for her to put stuff that's easily accessible and i have a flashlight that i custom modified just for her we'll dive into that in a little bit Later. The reason I chose this pack, it is a roll top pack. So you can extend this out. It's easy to get into. It's basically just one massive big dump pouch up here, as you can see here, and easy to get into, especially for somebody that doesn't spend a lot of time with backpack. All right, so to start off with, this is a right angle military USA made flashlight. This is like the normal service lights, but I modified this with a LED light because these normally used to come halogen. They're pretty indestructible, but what I like about this is it has multiple lenses, so I can put red and stuff like that if you want to be low vis. And the other thing, the reason why I chose this for her pack and a flashlight is it doubles as a work light. And the great thing about these is you can get these kits to convert them this whole light runs off of one lithium AA battery, but if you need to, you can put the regular batteries without the adapter. So the, uh, the normal batteries that you put in this can still work. And so you can run this, these lights off of two different types of battery systems. And they give you a lot of options and they're not very complicated to use, especially for somebody that doesn't want to play around and mess with lights, very standard, which is why the military uses it. On the outside of the pack, I have a pouch mounted on here for, my wife gets very hangry. <laughs> if she gets hungry, she gets very mean and irritable. So I always make sure that she has tons of easily accessible snack food. And when she needs extra energy, I have that on there for her. I have a small Olight um, i3 TEOS, I believe it's called, just a little tiny light for whatever she needs, easily accessible. And that's all I keep on the outside of her pack. Now, on the inside, here's what we have. I have a Sawyer mini water filter for her in case we get separated. My pack carries a lot more in-depth expensive stuff, but this is really light. And if something happens and we're separated, she has a way to filter water. I keep an N95 mask for her in here. Keep a heavy metal trash bag that she can use to stay off the ground, keep from getting wet. She could use it as a poncho. She can just put gear in it whatever she needs to use that for. Spare dry clothes for her. Also keep some wet wipes. I keep a backup map for her to have in case we get separated, obviously. Here is a nice US roadmap on there. The tourniquet. So in here is a pouch that I got for her to store stuff. This is kind of her survival accessory pouch. So basically she has a ferro rod, a waterproof lighter, micro, um, Gerber, multi-tool, uh, Mora knife, bandana, uh, Sharpie, glow sticks. She has um, attack bivy emergency sleeping bag in here. 
She also has a regular thermal blanket, so she can double up for that. She has a black diamond headlamp. She has um, portal wipes, which are the mini toilet paper wipes as a backup. So that's everything she has in that. Now on this side and the zipper down in here, she has spare batteries for all of her lights, some backup matches, another backup lighter. So she technically has four, five ways to uh, start a fire. Also, here's a five by seven emergency shelter rain tarp that she keeps in here, super light. Keep in mind, her pack weighs less than 20 pounds. Okay, emergency field first aid kit that I put together and built for her, something that she can use. Also has feminine products in there. Also have her a toiletry kit in there and some other stuff that she put. And like my other pack, you know my philosophy, if you've seen my other video, my philosophy, have uh, X MREs, which are commercial MREs. These are really good. This is the first thing you would eat. Um, usually, if you don't have time to like sit in more water or whatever, this is the quickest thing. If you want a heavy meal, it takes the least amount of preparation. It has cooking utensils and all that in there. And then for the second meal, there is the mount houses for the next couple days. Here's a, another camo poncho. So, honestly, between the poncho, the emergency rain tarp, emergency sleeping bag system, and also the heavy mill trash bag. She has plenty of ways that she can easily make a shelter with paracord. She's actually learned how to do that. I've taught her. And then I keep a Kelty Rambler sleeping bag in here, enough for some extra layers so she can put the uh, trash bag and actually waterproof this and have a pretty reasonable setup. And this is within her, within her wheelhouse. And guys, that is pretty much everything in the pack. Super light, super easy. Um, one more thing before I forget, I have a clean canteen where she can boil water in here also. And inside the clean canteen, I have her a K-Bar eating tool. She has water purification tablets. Um, and she also has a can opener and just some little extra mint stuff for hygiene. But that's pretty much everything she has inside the pack. So, like I said, super simple, easy not complicated, not a whole lot of crazy gadget stuff that I've walked her through and shown her how to use it all and she knows where it's at. Super easy, she can carry it, she can still run with it super fast. You know, it's well within proportion for how much she weighs. So it's not over bearing on her. Um, super comfortable pack, great stuff. So yeah, just a quick little video on my wife's bug out bag that I put together for her. And I think the main philosophy behind this is lightweight, super simple, but effective. Enough to where if we get separated or something, she can be fine and self-sustaining. Obviously, my pack's bigger. It has more heavy-duty gear and more complicated gear and stuff like that. And I pretty much would have to be complete disaster, worst-case scenario, or I'm dead before I'm going to let myself get separated from my family or I'm going to let anyone else separate me from my family. We're going to have problems. So this is pretty much complements my pack, but she can still use it by herself if something happens. Okay, so if you like this content and you want to see more, go and hit that like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget if you want to see my pack, I'll try to put that link to this at the end of this video, and we will catch you on the next video.